Are sleeping bag liners worth it? I have a Thermalite reactor liner that completely can go over my body and I can drop in to my sleeping bag and make me warmer. Subscriber Edward Hurst 2323 asks, have you ever used a sleeping bag liner? I bought a few, but I find it impossible to get in or stay in the same place when moving around when I sleep. The short answer is um, they're hard to use. I used mine in Antarctica. I had a uh, VBL vapor barrier liner and it's a super fight. I've used this one several times, but what I find is the final answer is you have to buy a warmer sleeping bag. That is the only way around it. Now the huge advantage, don't click away, about the sleeping bag liners, you can actually use it to keep your sleeping bag cleaner because after you're grimy and dirty and sweaty from a long day of skiing, trekking, hiking, or whatever, and you're getting your sleeping bag, it's going to get dirtier and dirtier. But what I recommend is make sure to have a change of clothes, wool long underwear and a wool shirt and get in your sleeping bag, you'll feel much better. But when I need the sleeping bag liner, I know that's going to be a fight. And what I do is I train myself to sleep mummy style, either like this, or I sleep with my hands in my pockets so my hands don't flap around. I just have to put my hands in my pockets and that actually works really, really well is it kind of traps me so I don't roll around a bit. But it does take a while to learn to sleep on your back, either Tutankhamun style or like dead person style. And that's the best that I can suggest for when you're using a sleeping bag liner, just be prepared for a fight because they are a fight, they are handy, but there are some definite downsides. The ultimate answer is simply bring a change of clothes and get a warmer sleeping bag and that will help get you away from needing to use a sleeping bag liner. Please ask questions in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.